Okay, now that we have our part made up on MasterCAM or your other CAD program to create a G code or shop off code, uh, you can come over to your CNC machine area and you're going to want to sign into the computer first. Our password here is CNC student. Your part should be loaded onto a USB stick. Go ahead and plug that into the computer. Okay, next you're going to want to go to your USB stick and find your, your part and then drag it onto the desktop. Next, go ahead and open up ShopBot. The ShopBot will open up and it'll look like so. You can go ahead and hit K on the keyboard and that'll open up the keypad movement. Using the keyboard arrow keys, you can move the X, Y, and Z axis. The up and down arrow moves the Y axis. <coughs> The side and side arrow moves the X axis. The page up and page down move the Z axis. Our particular router uses a quarter inch drive. So in the drawer here, we have uh, multiple selections of tools. You can use a spiral upcut bit, looks like so, or a series of engraving bits. Our part requires a 60 degree engraving bit. So this one needs to be changed. Using your router tools, you can loosen the, loosen the bit. And then replace it in our storage unit. Replacing the bit with the required one, same process, however reversed. The bit should be very snug in the router. Be cautious not to strip it. Next, you're going to want to fasten the material you're cutting on the CNC machine. There's a number of different ways. You can use a pre-made jig, being cautious of where your screws are relative to where your cutting path is going to be, as well as screwing, screwing it down using hammer drill and screws, again being cautious of where the screws are relative to your cutter, cut path, and as well as you can use double-sided tape. This can be helpful, however, you have to remember that double-sided tape can come loose. So if you're making a large pass, double-sided tape is not the way to go. Okay, I've gone ahead and placed double-sided tape on my material, like this. Um, I'm using double-sided tape because it's a smaller piece. I'm not doing a very large pass. If I was to be doing something a little larger, I would use screws, screwing it down into the table. I'm going to place this on here, remembering to keep it very square to the corner of your table. This is done because the cutter is going to follow your table. If your material isn't square, the machine doesn't know where it is relative to the table. So you have to remember to follow the corners of your table. Using the arrow keys, bring the cutter to the corner to the origin of your workpiece. This would be established in MasterCam or your CAD program. Our cut's going to be in the bottom left hand corner. Next you have to zero the Z axis to the top of your workpiece. This is done using a piece of paper. Place the paper underneath and then come over to your your computer to set the, the Z. As you can see your coordinates are marked here X, Y, and Z. Your Z axis is marked at negative point seven six four. You also have to move this the cutter down to be to the top of your workpiece. This can be done by clicking M for move exiting your uh, keyboard locations, clicking M for move and then the Z axis by clicking Z. Now you have to move it down until it's touching the bottom of the material. Looking at your cutter relative to your material, this will tell you how far to go. I'm going to move negative point seven six nine and then enter. As you can see there's just enough pressure on the cutter on top of the paper to hold it in place. Next, double click on your coordinate. Enter zero for all axes. 
This establishes the zero location for all of your axes. Next, load your part file by hitting load part file here in the bottom corner. Finding your file, which we move to the desktop. And it'll load out, just like so. Our router's on and off switch is here on top. Go, go ahead and turn it on. I've shut off the router so that you can hear me talk because the router's too loud. This, at this point, your router is running. You can go ahead and hit start just by clicking on it. The space bar as well as the stop button are used to pause the machine. There's also an emergency off switch. Only use this if needed.